Okay, after some sound tests and some more research, it turns out that it is best to keep this capacitor in place in the input. This type of input is called grid leak bias and it's uh, you can recognize it by the big capacitor on the input a very big bigger than one meg sometimes even five meg resistor to ground and no resistance on the cathode of the tube <laughs> not uncommon in guitar amplifiers if we look at the Fender Deluxe schematic the 5C3 which is late 40s probably if we look at the input of this amplifier we see the big capacitors 100 nanos uh, on the input and 5 meg resistors to ground no resistance on the cathode of the tube this also has a grid leak bias setup <laughs> Okay, this is what happened. I was trying to make some clips with the bias at different voltages when the bias voltage, which should, should be 17, minus 17 volts here, started drifting and was going to minus 20 volts, minus 21 volts. And when I turned uh, the bias control, it didn't change at all. It didn't get to 17 volts. When I turned it all the way, it got to zero volts, two volts, one volt. So yeah. then the amp lost all uh, high voltage and uh, I had to turn it off. I didn't know what was happening. And uh, I replaced the rectifier tube. After I did it, the amp came back to life and again took a 17 minus 17 volts bias without a problem. Um, so I thought the problem was solved. Apparently, after the time has been on, uh, after the amp has been on for some time, it heats up, and uh, then that's when the problem started occurring. 
but it's the power transformer that's heating up uh, more than normal I think there was some wax deposit on uh, here on the uh, on the power transformer and by now it has completely melted away so that might be an indication and maybe the power transformer is bad taking a look at this power transformer it sort of looks a bit waxy uh, I clean much of the chassis now but if you can see the output transformer is completely dry a bit corroded but the power transformer is uh, it's so shiny and, and it feels like it's got some residue from the waxing that has melted and run and ran out of the amp when I had it upside down. I don't know. For the time being I replaced the rectifier with these Adzam. And as I said when it when the amp is cold it works and it takes a bias, but once it heats up it drifts. What I'm going to do now is replace the power uh, tubes by a set of new power tubes, 6v6, and see maybe if that is the reason. But I'm afraid it won't fix the issue. With regard to that wretched bias circuit, I did discover one mistake is that um, when I look at the documentation online, most people connect to the the bias supply to uh, voltage supply to the center log of the pot which is not how I wired it here's uncle dog coming in on one log and then the bias voltage comes off the center log the wiper of the pot here's a valve wizard same thing coming off the wiper. Here's another example on something that seems to be of official documentation for some kind of amp, but again, it's the wiper which feeds uh, the power tubes. There's only Rob Robinette's website which shows another setup with the first two lugs of the pot tied together and then with an uh, idiot resistor to ground so that when you could turn the 550k pot all the way down, there is still some resistance at 27k. That's what the other setups also have. We will do that idiot resistor, but I will follow the valve wizard and Uncle Doug, I think. Next thing to do is to dismantle this board completely and check it all out. You see, I did uh, try to connect the two lugs, outer lugs. I only had two lugs connected initially. Uh, if I hook it up like this, it's almost like Rob Robinette setup, but it still doesn't allow me to adjust the bias properly. So out it goes. We'll see. Measuring the pot. Oh, it should be 5k, it's all over the place. It's 17k. Measuring the pot out of circuit. almost 3 meg. <laughs> okay, I completely rebuilt the uh, bias circuit. Used a new pot, the new setup, and also used the same diode. It checked out okay. I compared its measurements against a new diode, so I'm pretty sure it's okay. I've got my leads hooked up to measure the bias voltage. I'm gonna turn it on for the first time. Probably everything's gonna like explode in my face. Um, but let's plug it in first because otherwise nothing okay, can plug it in. Let's hope for reverse Murphy. Okay, we got a steady bias on the comes the sound and this is about the bias I would like to put something uh, below 17 volts and I can adjust it yes let's put it at 13 let's hope this will last <laughs>
feedback loop is here. It goes from the cathode of the second tube through a 150k resistor and a 50 nano uh, capacitor to the outside of the output transformer. We'll first try to remove this capacitor and see if it uh, changes anything. Now I shorted out uh, a 50 nanofarad capacitor in the feedback loop. So it's just the resistor in the feedback loop, negative feedback loop. <laughs> We can also disconnect the capacitor here from the output transformer and then the entire negative feedback loop will be eliminated. Let's try that. Here's the capacitor that connected to the output transformer. Here's the 150k resistor. It's very connected to the tube. <laughs> 